Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make these photo booth images in Word. So let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do is to import our photographs. So go up to the Insert tab, down to this picture icon, click on the drop down and select Picture from File. And then go ahead and pick the picture of your choice. And once it's imported into Word, there's two important things you have to do. The first thing is to sort out the wrapping. At the moment, if I try and move this photograph, it just clicks back into its original position. So in order to be able to move it around, we need to go up to Wrap Text, make sure you're on Picture Format, or you can right click on your image and go down to Wrap Text here. Whichever method you use, go down to in front of text. Then you'll see that you'll be able to move that picture around anywhere in your document. The second thing we need to do is to crop this image into a square. And again, we're on picture format tab. Go along to the crop icon, click on the drop down and select aspect ratio and click one to one. Here you'll see that some black marks come up in the corners of your image and at the sides. Now as you pull and drag, that will extend, but obviously it will include a white section to your image. So what you can either do is decrease your square, you can move it around to where you want, and then you can just select the portion of your image that you want to use. And then just click the return key. For this particular demonstration, I want to size my photographs five centimeters by five centimeters. I think that's appropriate for the project we're doing. So again, once you're on the picture format tab, go along to this height and width icon here. Now by default, it's unchecked. But if we go into the height box here and just press five and the width box and press five, then just press enter. You can see now that Word has resized that image to five centimeters by five centimeters. Now, so that we don't lose that aspect ratio, because you see if I grab that corner and move it around, it moves and it changes, which is quite annoying when you've just resized it. So what you need to do is you need to check this little box here that means it's going to lock it into a square. So now when I pull and push it, you can see that it remains a square. What I have done is now move that from five to 4.25. So I'm just gonna press Command or Control Z, which will take us back to our original size. Now we're just gonna grab the next image and do exactly the same, so insert, picture, picture from file, select the picture of your choice and click insert. And again, we'll go to wrapping, click on the drop down in front of text. Then we'll go up to the crop tool, go down to aspect ratio and click one to one. And then again, just select the portion of the photograph that you want. Click okay. And then again, go to the height and width boxes and just place your dimensions in. You don't have to do five by five if you don't want to, completely up to you. You can make them bigger or smaller. But I'm just using those dimensions for this particular project. Don't worry too much about lining these up because we'll come back in a minute and make sure they're all perfectly lined up and spaced to where you want them. So I'll just go ahead now, I'll speed up the video and just resize and import the next two images. Okay, so now we've got all the pictures inserted and cropped. What we're going to do is just line them up roughly with the distance that you want between those images. I think this is probably quite appropriate, but you can make it smaller if you want to. So once you've done that, select the lower image, then hold the command or control key down and select all the other images. Again, ensuring you're on shape for a picture format, 
go along to this alignment icon here. Click on the drop down and firstly I'm going to ensure that they are distributed vertically. What that means is that every single photograph will be distributed with an equal distance between them. The next thing I want to do is to make sure they're centered. So again with the alignment tool go down to align to center and that will ensure all of the images are lined up to the center. And before you click off all of them, go back up to this group icon here, click on the drop down and select group. Once you select group, it will group all of these images together so that when I then use my cursor to move them around, they move around as one single unit, which is incredibly useful. So I'm just going to place those in the middle of my screen just for demonstration purposes but you can put them anywhere you want particularly if you're going to repeat the process and you want to print quite a few off. I think you could probably print about three off on this page but I'm just going to put mine in the middle for now. The next thing I'm going to do is to go up to the insert tab, go across here to text box, click draw text box and then I'm going to roughly click at the top left corner and drag as if we're drawing the outline of the card that you would receive if you were to actually go to a photo booth. So it's rough, you don't have, again, you don't have to be too accurate with this because we can change the dimensions. So I'm going to do it to about there. You can see it's not quite in the middle, but don't worry about that. Right, the pictures have disappeared. The reason for that is that text boxes, by default, always have a white background. So in order to get rid of that, make sure you're up here on Shape Format. Go along to this icon here that says Shape Fill. Click on the drop down and select No Fill. And your photos will reappear. Okay, now what we need to do is to align these pictures inside this rectangle. Now in order to select these two, it can get a little bit clunky. So what I suggest is just move the text box to one side a minute. Then move the group of photographs, move the text box back, then move the images into the text box. Now try to just insert them roughly where they need to be, but again we'll align them, so don't worry too much about it. Whilst that's highlighted, hold your command or control key down and select the text box. As you can see, it's really important that you select both of these elements. Sometimes it's really difficult if the photos go in, you can't click on the photographs and you're searching and searching for where to find them. This is the one method I can find that will ensure you can select both elements. So once you've selected them, we just need to align them. So again, go up to the alignment icon in the shape format tab, click on the drop down, and first off we'll go to align to center. And that's just slightly nudged it over a little bit, so we're perfectly lined there. We're not going to align to the centre because we just need to leave this little section at the bottom for some writing. Once we've done that, we're going to group them together because once they're aligned, it's really important that you group them because otherwise they'll misalign again. So go back up to the group tab and click group. Once you've aligned everything, you can see now that you can move it around anywhere in your document. And then if you wanted to, you can just copy and paste it and select some different pictures. Now in order to get the writing at the bottom, again we're going to use another text box. So go up to insert, text box, draw text box. And then just click and drag at the bottom. Again, you don't have to be too accurate at the moment. Then just insert your text. Then all you need to do if you want to increase or decrease the font, go up to the Home tab. You can use the Increase or Decrease font size tools if you want to. You can also change the font and you can also make that bold. Now once you've done that then I advise that you just centre it using this icon here. And then once you click off you can see that the text box yet again has defaulted to a black border. So to get rid of that, just highlight that text box, go up to the Shape Format tab and go along to this icon here. Click on the drop down and select No Outline. 
click off again and you can see that outline's gone. So again, just to make sure we're all lined up, if you click on that text box, hold the command or control key down and click on the larger image, then again go up to align, align to centre. And we'll just ensure that that text box is in the centre. And then with the text, if you're not happy with its position, click on the text box and use your arrow keys to just move that text up and down however you see fit. So once you're finished, you can go ahead and pop this through the printer. And then, of course, you can either give it as a gift or stick it on the fridge or part of a scrapbooking project, anything you like. But I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.